Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. I didn't even comment on the fact that the chocobo can walk across rivers and we didn't even have to force it to inbreed for two or three generations to get that power. Yes, that's actually a Final Fantasy reference. You might not believe it. Okay, I want to sell all of my shiny swords. 27,500. Y'all can do that math in your head. We're gonna go to bed, and then we're gonna get back to adventuring. Plucky and adventury are gonna be really good adjectives to describe us once this happens. This must be the resurrection pool, yeah. My favorite <laughs> Deadpool variant, Resurrection Pool. It's probably a thing that's happened. They do all kinds of crazy shit with Deadpool from what I've gleaned from my, like, third-hand knowledge of comics. Because I've never read any Deadpool comics. Apparently he killed the whole Marvel Universe at one point. Okay, let's explore this new world. Now that we can finally fly around. So you saw up here is where the Water Temple was. Which means these are those mountains we saw that were sticking above the water. I kind of like that it implies that those were the tallest mountains. But we still can't fly over the others. It must be too high above the mist that allows airships to work. Here you crowd would do another quick Final Fantasy IX reference real quick. Uh, spoilers, I'm pretty sure this is a Chocobo Woods in here. So if we fly up here, look around. Your eyes so. are... Bunch of holes in a mountain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool little ponds and deserts. It's a fun place. And then, of course, there's this ominous area that if we try to fly through... No, sir. That's in-game shit. It's literally the <laughs> end-game shit in there. Let's see if we can see any of it from out here. They give you some little teasing hints. Well, spoilers, the, the fang items that we've collected two of so far. That's, uh, we need those to get down that corridor of statues. This is probably, oh, I can't land, I forgot on land. This is probably the A Chocobo Woods. I just want to, yeah. Son, we need the Choco Zener. And the Chocobo lore to unlock all the Chocobo Gardens so we can get the Ragnarok in the time compressed world of the fourth disc. You're like, stop! <laughs> Did Fay. I've played Final Fantasy VIII and even I am tired of this fucking <laughs> spiel you're going on. Well, that was a fun fight that we won handily. All right, well, anyway. Give me my overworld map, the ancient text. I'm trying to remember where everything is. Okay, so we're right up there. So if we fly across the ocean, there's two... Well, there's three main continents of Final Fantasy IX's world. All right, now that's a big-ass fucking sprawling city. 
but we're not going to fly over that just yet for no particular reason. Just fly around. There's a few towns we can visit now that are, you know, not necessarily necessary. I have to say, allow myself to introduce myself, but we might as well see if we can't get us some cool items early. Dastar. Look, I like your uh, pajamas. Controlling, tr oh, he's Geoman, uh, Geomancer, spoilers. I guess we could have made Ben a Geomancer, although we didn't have any Geomancer weapons. They use bells. This continent of Dalek, wind there blows back everything, son. Don't talk shit in that place, you'll get blown back. Heard there's swords born of darkness called Dark Swords. My god, Leon from Final Fantasy II, son, looking up from his uh, live journal feed. He's like, Dark Swords, go on. You had my apathy, but now you have my slight curiosity. So this town is full of geomancers and bards, and if you talk to the bards, they'll sing you little tunes that tell you rich lore of the world. The Dragon King Bahamut, I already dealt with him. Also, I thought it was a lady. He had like a nest full of babies. Maybe he has a dragon wife. Maybe he's like Miss Kobayashi. I want to talk to all these bards, but we've got to hear that little song every time. Oh no, he plays the chocobo. <laughs> I like this guy's song. The shadow of the lake Leviathan, freed from the bonds of darkness. Have we seen any ominous shadows in any lakes? I can't quite recall. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you kids. Wink, wink. Long ago, humans took the power of light into their hands. The power of light overflowed. And in the dark world, oh, we've heard the story a hundred fucking times, boys. You like to drive that shit home, don't you? Odin? That sounds like a neat fellow. He sealed himself. He was so powerful. Well, we probably won't run into him then, so let's not even think about him. Let's not even remember the name Odin. You're like, too late. Too late, Uncle Tenfei, you fool. Hold on, I'm trying to get the ancient text if I can cooperate. Because there's free shit laying around in this town, and I mean to have it. Listen here, yeah? Free items. The Earth Drum. So that cast Quake in battle, I want to say. And then over here... Another Earth Drum. I guess that makes sense in a town of bards and minstrels. Y'all have a pub? Nope, just regular ass again. Where they say regular ass items. Grab some antidotes. I noticed I didn't have an unnecessary amount of the who's earlier, and that's a problem. An amazingly fast airship in Solania. That's that uh, big old kingdom we saw that I told you we weren't going to fly over just yet. All right, so this is bells and harps. That's what bards and uh, geomancers equip. So that's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, we could buy one of each and store them at the Fat Chocobo, just in case we decide to do a little job variety, a little job fiesta. You're going to move <laughs> eventually. I'm angrily holding the button towards you. And this is the kind of gear that bards like to wear. Although rune bracelets are good for any of the caster classes. So let's grab a four pack. Get one of each of these. And Roberts, your mother's brother. Get me the hell out of this fucking town. Bunch of assholes. Asshole birds, what they all call that fucking place. Okay. There's another town we can visit on the north part of this continent. I 
I don't think you can land in the river. Nah. So we're gonna have to hoof it from over here. If we wanted to pay homage to Final Fantasy 1, we could dock at the mouth of the river like we're going to the ice cavern to get the floater. Leprit. This is where conjurers come from. I can never summon anything good. Well, you summoned a cool chocobo. Darn it, another chocobo. Boys, he keeps praying for Ifrits and Shivas. The continent of Dalug is where the Archmage Noah is said to have lived. Sounds like the kind of guy that might know a thing or two. It is said that Leviathan and Bahamut were still on the floating continent by Noah. Yeah, that's probably something he would do. Well, you look like one of them Golgans, the blind fellas that seem to fucking know everything that's gonna happen. Well, there you go, the Gurgans. Just as long ago light flooded the world, now darkness floods the world. Someone summoning the power of darkness. Is this supposed to be news to me? The Void? Boys. You ain't allowed to make Final Fantasy V references. You've trapped me in the woods, you little piece of shit! The NPCs in Final Fantasy games have true hate in their heart. A small fragment of Sakaguchi's soul is placed into every NPC. And all they want more than anything is the love. Get you trapped? Noah's pupils sleeps in a fjord. Son. Well, that's rough. Probably because it's broke down on the side of the road. You know what they say fjord stands for. So get that boy a Chevrolet. Summon monsters are not affected by any enemy's barrier. They even inflict the same damage. I guess that's a way of saying that summons don't care if an enemy absorbs an element. In the past, there was an archmage named Noah. They say he used terrific magic. They say he's a terrific athlete. I want my free items. Turtle shell cast some kind of protective magic, I do believe. Okay. You crowd done. I see you in there. I'm coming for you. What do you do down here? There's an undersea cave at a small triangular island. Boys, in Final Fantasy games, whenever you find a triangular I island out in the world, there's always something interesting there. I like that. I like that recurring element. Run back through the void. Maybe check in here real quick. Uh-huh. You think I don't know about secret candles? Elixirs are good. Is there anything else in here? Uh, no, there's not. The ancient texts were just leading me to believe there was. Alright. So, the shop in this town sells a particular type of magic. So, this is summon magic. We finally got into a Final Fantasy game that has summons in it. I'm sure you kids, when you saw Chocobo, Shiva, Rama, Ifrit, and Titan pop up on the screen, you just started spitting ramen and ramen a soda, boys, in all directions as your head spun and your loved ones called an exorcist. But we're not going to use them right now because... Let me get to the overall map before I start uh, ben splaining shit to you. Let's get full HP and MP, or just HP in our case. The uh, Conjurer class can use those summon spells it's the only class of magic they can use and for each one of them you get two random effects like ifrit if you summon him he either does fire damage to one target or he casts a heal on the party which is not something you normally would think ifrit would do if you know if you're used to final fantasy games but uh yeah it's not really i mean we might try it out later for fun but until we get the proper summoner job it's really not worth investing in right this second. All right, now that I've bought all this garbage I don't need. How's my inventory treating me these days? Might need to give old fat Chocobo a gander. Speaking of which... Damn it. <laughs> First we have to fight puddings and magicians. All burned up. All slapped up. You love to see Viking Boy Ben one shot an enemy and then only take one damage. It's real morale boosting.
Alright, hold on, I'm giving my ancient text some more adjustments. Yeah, 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 okay. Somewhere in these fucking trees... There it is. <laughs> There's a damn chocobo woods. Move! <laughs> I got to stare this damn bird down. Alright, ain't taking nothing but here. Why don't you hold this and this and this and this and this and these? Let's see, is there anything we're not going to need right this second? Boom. Store those for now just to, once again, to make more room. Just store all of it. God's wine would be the only thing you might want to hang on to because it casts haste. Which some people like to claim makes waste, but I think it ain't a bad spell. Alright, you're going to help me get to my boat. Wow, we got a... Yeah, I've, I've never thought to do that before. <laughs> we were able to stand in a river. Alright. Alright. That's some exploring. I guess we'll fly over this big kingdom, see what they're about. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> Ouch, is all they had to say. Well, that's the second damn airship we've got blown up. So here's the deal. This uh, city is in a civil war. <laughs> Which is represented by this crowd just standing here staring at each other. Well, let's go in here and talk to the king and be like, Hey, you know, the power of darkness and we're the warriors of light. Uh, no one's allowed to enter. What a shame. Alright. Well, we get to walk around this little region. It's technically a giant city. Each corner, southwest, northwest, south, or uh, southeast, northeast, is its own little, like, district you can enter. But it's just interesting. Final Fantasy 1 and 2, the closest thing you had to this was in Final Fantasy 1. Corneria had, like, the biggest footprint. But you could still get in random battles out here, so... It's a dangerous place. Let's start rotating our saves in case we decide we want to go back to a pre having our airship blown out of the fucking sky world. <laughs> Let's see, Dunstar. GM answers, yeah, I've already been there. Look at you just scooting around town fucking wide open. So most of these shops is, uh, are closed by order of the king, so we can't really buy a lot just yet. The retainer's shadow was in the shape of a giant bird. Garuda? That's one of them Final Fantasy names. King won't hear anyone. If you question him, he would kill it on the spot. He sounds real lovely. But yeah, we can't go into any of these cool magic shops just yet. Say you, old man, there was once a passage from the castle cellar to the sea floor. From the bottom? How the hell am I going to get to the bottom of the ocean? You need some sort of submergible vessel for that. The only ones that could defeat the bear bird Garuda were called Dragoons. Interesting. It reminds me of Crab Rangoons, which I'm a fan of. Okay, so we can actually go in this store. But all they sell are spears. What kind of dumb idiot job class would equip spears? I'm telling you. This one's sealed. Alright, before we start buying spears for fun, there are some free ones we can get in one of these towns. So that's what we're going to do. To start with. I don't think I need to save again. I ain't done shit. Alright, yeah, this is the one we want. If the war continues, Solania will become a burnt ruin, a crispy husk. Prince Alice was banished from the castle. I mean, that's an interesting rumor, but what does that got to do with me? The tower in this sector is called the Dragon Tower. The treasure of a family of dragoons is in there. Sounds like the kind of crowd I want to meet. Sounds like the kind of crowd I want to be invited over to for Sunday dinner. Monsters are my favorite thing to find in a tower. You might not know this, but I'm the warriors are like, well, the check measures hanging out up here. Oh, <laughs> you can just take one and ride him around. Neat. Okay, I won't put you all through the whole song. <laughs> just this once. That's my Christmas present to you. 
Oof, sir. Get out of the way. Mohawk mans always have the best pro tips. For the only one that could defeat Garuda's dragon is I already knew that. Mohawk man. I mean, it's a good tip, but you need some new material. I'm trying to see if anyone with anything cool to say was back here. I guess not. Let us enter the Dragoon Tower. Oh, I've already kicked the shit out of things like this, so I'm not that worried. Alright, so if you just try to run straight upstairs, you ain't gonna find much. But if you know that walls are a fucking lie in Final Fantasy III, oh my god, someone called the Master Chief. <laughs> we got to deal with some needlers. We've already found the Mjolnir that his armor is named for. Any fight where I could just hold down the A button and win is a good fight. Once again, modern critics of Final Fantasy describe all of the games as that. But every now and then you've got to think about what the hell you're doing. I guess this is an interesting way to have this tower set up. <laughs> you gotta walk through the darkness. I'm telling you, they went crazy with the secret passages and shit in this game. They love that shit. In Final Fantasy V, if one of your job party members is a thief, you can actually see the invisible passages, but they decided three, you know, that hadn't quite come up with that level of programming just yet. Next, <laughs> Sam Warren was not happy with Tommy sucking the HP out of him and slap the dog shit out of him. Oh yeah, Jer I forgot Jeremy's in the XP <laughs> doldrums down there. Having not lived through the Goldor fight, despite our best efforts. And here we are, the top floor. I want a dragon armor, and a dragon helmet, and a thunder spear, and a phoenix down, and a dragon helmet, and a thunder spear. Catabug. I never know how to pronounce the name of these fucking enemies. Strike first. Catablast. They're based on some kind of myth about a bull that can, like, turn you to stone or something. I mainly think of them as a uh, Castlevania enemy. And Jeremy caught up with the rest of the group. And a dragon armor, and a dragon helmet, and a phoenix down, and a thunder spear, and a dragon armor, and a dragon helmet. That's almost enough for a full party of dragon boys. Oh no, he was weak to the 69. I know that feeling, little feller. I guess we can stop and drink a couple of potions, maybe an antidote. Our Vims and Vigors are quite out of whack. Chris's HP is skyrocketing. I guess he does have like the highest vitality. And he's wearing equipment that gives him even more vitality. 
Vikings have good vitality, so hopefully that'll let Ben get him a little bit of HP since he's been mostly mages throughout the playthrough. navigate this shit again. Apparently the Dragoon family doesn't want you to find their good shit. Oh lord, we had to get into a back attack right here at the end, didn't we? Once again, I'm gonna give Jeremy a chance to shine <laughs> with his escape command. Hell yeah! True heroes know when to run away. Have I mentioned recently how Joseph chose Star? fully approves of our tactics. Alright, back to the overworld map. Oh yeah, don't forget we could <laughs> grab a Jokobo for fun. Nah, I don't give enough of a shit. Alright, how are our stores and wares of dragon gear? We got plenty of those. We got three thunder spears. So let's hit up the store up here real quick. It is convenient that the one store that isn't uh, forbidden to do business sells Dragoon equipment. How much for four Wind Spears? I'll take them. And I guess one Thunder Spear to, just to give us a even amount. There we go. There we go! Alright, onwards to Southwest Solania. Reckon we could save our game since we went through the Dragon Tower. Of Dragon Power. If the King won't hear anyone, if you. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've already heard that. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one, but the King is a crazy tyrant. Did you guys see a frog? Okay. First and foremost, get me in this house here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So this guy is a scholar researching chocobos. He could even summon fat chocobo. So they very not kindly, because there's no chocobo woods in this area and we're currently trapped here, they gave you a way to access your fat chocobo. So how are we going to go about this? This is now our excuse. Hold on, I want to hear chocobo music. All right. <laughs> Everybody get asshole naked. Everybody was asshole naked. Do 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 do. Those cats were quite twice baked. Okay, we don't have enough inventory space for everybody to be asshole naked, I guess. And when everyone's asshole naked, nobody will be. Okay, we can store some of this stuff. I always pick take when I don't want to. All right, hold this, 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 this. That, this, this, and this, and this. Get my music back. I assume that's a programming limitation that the music changes back when you leave the inventory screen. Alright, that's a good first start, and now everybody gets to be a dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Never has a little jaunty pose of celebration been so justified as that day everyone got to be a dragoon. Everybody wants to be dragoons. <laughs> I won't uh, inflict that whole song on you. All right. For the time being, why don't you hold on to this and this and this and this and this. How many gloves total do we have? One, two, three. So I need to take a single mithril gauntlet out of here. I think I had one left if I didn't fucking vendor it. Like the non-forward thinking ass I am. Now there it is right there. Boom. 
we care about any of those? No. Alright, get me to the world map so I can hear good music. And we can get this fuck Dragoon Party started. Alright, we're not officially all Dragoons until we're all wearing Dragoon gear. So the Wind Spear is more powerful, so I'm going to put that in everybody's main hand. And so Dragoons can dual wield in this game, and when you regular melee, you know, it lets them get two sets of hits. But when Dragoons use their special command, which Eddie Van Halen is quite familiar with, the jump command, uh, when they land, they do three times damage with their main hand weapon, and they still hit with their offhand weapon, but it does one times damage. But... Jumping is still considered a physical attack, so the number of hits you get still determines your damage, although the game, unfortunately, doesn't tell you the number of hits you connected with when you land a Dragoon jump. So you either just do a ton of damage, or you don't do that much damage. It's up to you to figure it out. But also, because of the way it's calculated, it still considers whether you're in the front row or not. So unfortunately, we can't just stick all the dragons in the back row to take half damage. And it's still expect them to be doing big cash money damage to the enemy. Okay. Alright. Chris... Yeah, you can keep your power glove. Dragoons can wear power gauntlets too. It's a good thing. Let's see. Give Tommy his gauntlet back. And then Jeremy. Fourth first. Same as the first. Hmm. He can't wear the night armor. He can wear... Uh, we'll have to go get him a uh, set of armor out of the box. Because they can wear like the ice armor and such. I guess I was just assuming one of them could wear the knight armor. Alright, we're not still not fully certified until everybody's got all their gear on, so pop back in here real quick. I will take... I have chosen the large ice mail. Alright, which means I can give you for the time being this and this. Now, dragons can use a shield you know, which is convenient for when they're standing there. But it doesn't benefit them to have it equipped when they're jumping. When Annie Van Halen has got an eye on them. Alright. Back to the map screen. And then finally, the thing you've all been waiting for since the moment you first heard the word Dragoon in this play for, through. Now that we have a full party of fully equipped Dragon Knights... We meet, that means we get to update our uh, Dragoon scorecard yet again. Sorry, I, I didn't know how long I needed to pause <laughs> to let that set in. To get that edit in there. Let's get in a fight. Shit. We could make the first fight we get in be the Garuda fight. That spoilers is the reason you want a party of dragoons right this second. It's technically another gimmick boss. Although nowhere near as frustrating as old Hein. As much as I want to make a dragoon Heine reference, I don't think I can justify it. Alright, before we storm the castle... Oh yeah, this is like the library. Which, of course, the king has forbidden all entrance into, son. I have no idea where we're going to get periodicals now. I'm trying to remember which district has the pub we're looking for. It might be this one. Yeah, here it is right up here. Well, this here little feller who claims to be the prince, was getting bullied. We got back attack. I don't even know if this is a fight that you normally always get back attacked in or if we just got really unlucky. Well, unfortunately, that means our jumps aren't going to be as good, so let's use the first turn 
of our glorious all dragon party to fucking change rows. Then we'll fucking show this crowd a thing or two. All right, Van Halen, <laughs> give me the strength. We've got our back against the wrecking machine, son. Big damage. Big damage. I'm also incredibly proud that the first time that Dragoon Ben landed a jump attack, it had 69 in it. Uh, of course, not every Dragoon boy can necessarily do big money damage, but it's the, the you got to believe in it. The heart of the Dragoon, son. Yeah, go ahead, slap me around. I don't care. There we go. That's what you should have done the first round. And that's the way the Dragoon goes. The son of the King of Solania. That seems like a real handy person to be acquainted with at the moment. And there you go. A whole bar of Mohawk man. And even the bartender is a Mohawk man. Although we're not allowed to talk to him. Alright, now that we got Prince Albus in a can. Oh yeah, don't forget everybody's in the back row now. <laughs> His sprite. He's such a little feller. His, his crown must be held on with bobby pins. To be jaunty and tip the side. I'm banished from the castle, idiot. Don't yell my name. I want to talk to these frogs, damn it. Uh, just a shitty resurrection spring. Now, I know for sure you guys just heard a frog. Prince Albus's pathfinding is all fucked up. Oh, yeah, you get some extra dragoon armor from this guy. I forgot about that. <laughs> I guess Jeremy... Doesn't have to be an ice armor boy anymore. He can be a proper dragoon. And this guy in the corner gives us a wind spear, so I could have bought one less of those. But all that means is that oh, the properest of all dragoon boys gets two wind spears. G Tenfei. I thought a dragoon with two wind spears would be happier. Nah, you're thinking of a guy with two dragoon wives. I gotta tell you, this is pretty terrific. Okay. So, take this. And our backup thunder spear. And there you go. Get our HP back real quick and then storm the castle. By that I mean walk into the castle with the prince and politely ask the king to get the stick out of his crawl, son. <laughs> and stop ordering half of his soldiers to kill the other half of his soldiers. Oh no, we stayed up all night telling Prince Albus ghost stories. He didn't get one lick of sleep. I do like the Dragoon Overworld Sprite. They give off a Ricard from Final Fantasy II vibe, although unlike Ricard from Final Fantasy II, they use spears and they do jump attacks. So, AKA the real Dragoons. The no true Dragoon fallacy is not taking effect. Hey guys, you got anything accomplished <laughs> lately or do you still just stand here Yelling the same phrase at each other. Yep. That's right. Idiots.
Please rest here. I mean, we just slept at the inn. I've told all my good creepy pastas to the prince, so I don't know how I'm going to spook him now. That's rough, buddy. Having a king f for a dad who one day decides he's a crazy nut <laughs> and, and tells you you can't come home until you get a proper job. Apparently being the prince doesn't count. <laughs> I like the little, like, stage direction of it explaining the king attacked Prince with a knife. Or maybe the king just yelled that out loud as he walked down the stairs. Gigames. Have I heard his name before? Stab. Oh no. It seems the king stabbed himself. In his confusion. <laughs> the king is confused. He, he heard himself in his confusion. So this guy is obviously the one that's been putting the king up to this shit. And spoilers, this guy is Garuda in disguise. Now, excuse me, but Final Fantasy XI taught me that Garuda is like a hot bird lady. So I don't know what the hell you got going on. But we're going to jump you to death. So the gimmick of this fight is he uses this AoE Thunderbolt ability that does a load of damage to the whole party, unless they're all in the sky. Tommy wanted to be standing there because he's not scared of getting electrocuted to death. Why would you miss a jump attack? So basically, this is another point where Sakaguchi just wanted you to use a new job. So he put an enemy here that if your characters aren't dragoons, you're just going to get hit with thunder basically every turn <laughs> and you're not going to be able to out heal it there's always one left behind to know the truth I predict one more round of jumping We'll have this whole situation sorted out. And there you go. We'll leave Chris up in Dragoon Heaven for now. He gets to play seven minutes in Dragoon Heaven, son. My favorite party game. Okay, the king stabbed himself and is no longer being controlled. <laughs> and the person who was controlling him got jump speared to death. So, really, it's a happy ending when you think about it. A lot of tonal whiplash we just went through <laughs> with these little bells and whistles playing in the background. Let's go to bed. Oh, apparently these beds don't work anymore. Whatever. I happen to know that there's some good shit over here in the walls, which makes it my property. Look at all this, son. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah. E. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Another Thor hammer. 
I mean, I guess that was adequate shit in there, but, you know, I'm a bit spoiled. When I loot a castle's treasury, I expect to find all kinds of good shit. All right, what's the trick down here that you don't want me to know about? Is it this? Earth bell. Rusted. So those rusted armors, as far as I know, you just sell them. There's, like, nothing good about them. Found some free Geomancer gear. Fun. I don't even know why I helped Prince Albus if I'd have known he had this garbage in his secret treasury. Do your father want you? Yeah. Probably. I mean, it's better than having, you know, the army kill itself while some guy who's a secret bird monster <laughs> watches from the, the back and beats off. I already know, idiot. I've already taken those items. Uh, you keep some bards up here to spread lore, do you? Rest south of Salonia below the two horns. That sounds like it could be useful if I didn't have the ancient texts. Noah's loot reaches the dream world. Look, they got the best little table set up to play char par cheesy or Chinese checkers. Alright, there's still all kinds of loot in this castle for me to have. Damn it. Said that the Archmage Noah divided his power among three people. Zand, Dorga, and Now, some of the people that have been fucking with us have told us they're doing it on the orders of somebody named Zand. So that's interesting to know. What about you? The only ones that cause cash are three wizards. With the Nautilus engine, you should be able to fly. Okay. Uh, you're bringing up more proper nouns that I'm not really familiar with. Also, you're hiding secret items from me, and I don't care for that. I like my items overt. This is the secretest room of all. We're here in the basement. Let's say you guarding the good shit. You cannot go past here, although I heard that in the past, the path led to the catacombs. I can't help but notice there's some sort of boisterous fellow with a horned helmet standing over there. <laughs> I wonder if that means anything. I wonder if we'll ever encounter him. Ah, uh, probably not. That's one of them things they put in a Final Fantasy game just for, like, window dressing. Okay. And what say the crowd over here? Bunch of scholars, are you? The Solaria's engineers. Please use the airship Nautilus that we discovered in the ancient ruins. Here, we'll bring it. Uh, you want to go join your friends there, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's still confused. He must have been passed out. As always, the crowd works real quick when it comes to airshipery. I approve. We left the Nautilus outside the castle. It's awfully kind of y'all to give me an airship since you blew my other one up. Don't tell Sid, by the way. Isn't it? I haven't even left the room yet. <laughs> you crowd are asking me if you did a good job. That's some crowd that's uh, been deprived of praise for too long. We sure did. Now go away. Well, here's our new airship, boys. Let's see what she does. I don't think it can turn into a boat, but it might have a few things going for it. Let's just take a quick gander. Son, I'm fast as fuck, boy! My god, I just can't steer this thing. So this airship is nice because it can land on land. It's the first airship we've gotten in this game that lets you do that, but can't become a boat. What a shame. Now, if you remember, they said that there was a continent to the south that you couldn't approach because of the strong winds blew you away. So, now that we have this fast as fuck airship, we can probably do something about that. But first, I need to see a fat chocobo. 
about some items. As much as I'd love to leave the whole party as Dragoon Boys, it really wouldn't be that efficient, so... We'll leave being the truest of the Dragoon Boys as a Dragoon. He's finally attained his final form. Do I not have enough inventory space to unequip this shit? Probably not. Presenting the Fat Chocobo. This makes the Chocobo the Big Chocobo. Alright, you can hang on to these. This and this and this and this and this. Just store everything and sort it out later. As you do. Okay. His equipment's all good. So, as far as jobs go, Tommy's going back to be knight. See, his, his job level as a knight is so high, he can just switch to it for cheap. He can become a fighter for free. But, there's like a chart on the ancient text that shows how every job, the cost to switch between them. Usually the melee jobs can switch between each other for relatively low cost, and then the magic jobs do the same amongst themselves. Like, if we wanted to turn him into a conjurer right now, boys, not only would it be a terrible idea, although I do still want to show you all the conjurer, you deserve to see at least a little bit of it. Alright, the knight. Back to the knight. Go not quietly into job changing into that dark knight. And there's no reason not to keep everybody as they were, so you can go back to being a thief. Damn, it's expensive to go from dragon to a thief. There's some sort of secret commentary in that. I have an authority that dragoons and thieves can be very good friends if they meet in a pub in Lindlum <laughs> before the festival of the hunt and make quips at each other about how they both have tails. Okay, what do we want? Tommy wants the King Sword and the Blood Sword. Jeremy wants knives. Chris wants dragoons and cat claws. Chakra. Dark Hood. I guess uh, Ice Helmet would be a nice helmet for Tommy to have. We can give him the Knight Armor. It's down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Boom. The Black Belt. The Dark Suit. Thief Power Gauntlet. You're like a Thief Power Gauntlet. That sounds fucking sweet. All right. All right, he said twice for no reason. Let's get everybody equipped. This is the most tedious part of original Final Fantasy 3 is switching your jobs around. They definitely streamlined this one in Final Fantasy 5. Or as some people call it, the good Final Fantasy 3. You're like, if only we'd live to see you play through it, Uncle Tenfei. If only the universe could last that long. It's a shame, really. I blame myself for forever believing in you in the first place. Damn, this hypothetical version of you is harsh. But it's hard to refute his points, boys. If it makes you feel any better, I feel terrible and guilty about it all the time. It's like a self-feedback loop. I can't record Tenfei videos because I feel bad, and then I feel bad because I'm not recording Tenfei videos. So, basically we all lose. With Tenfei, everyone loses. Okay. There. Four fucking months later. <laughs> stored all them damn items. 
Now, I don't have enough money. Well, I do have a lot of money. I need to do another round of money duping before too long. I mean, another round of using legitimate strategies that the game <laughs> clearly endorses. That Sakaguchi wanted you to do. But for the time being, we'll grab us a set of summon spells. The Chocobo, the level one, there's only one summon spell for each tier. And the Chocobo one is the worst. Not only is it level one, but your two effects it gives you is either he does Choco Kick for a tiny amount of damage, or he makes the whole party run away. Which would be useful if you could always have him make the whole party run away. Because I assume you don't. Have, it's like 100% success rate and doesn't lower you to defenseless, but I don't know. I want a Titan, and an Ifrit, and a Rama, and a Shiva, and a Chagub. They're my favorite. Okay. I'm not afraid to use the primary save slot anymore. Plus, I like to keep a slot where we were all dragoons. I keep a picture of all of us as dragoons in my wallet. So I can remember the good times. Okay, so down here... Damn, we're fucking hooked up, boys. If I knew where the hell I was... <laughs> You gotta be careful not to get lost in the middle of the ocean when you're playing uh, this game. The world map in this game is interesting. That's my backhanded way of complimenting it. Alright, do I know where I am? Okay, this is where... Yeah, this is... Okay, this is... I, I vaguely know where I am right now. It's the best kind of knowing where you are. So if we fly across here... It's just right here, and if you fly south from these little rivers, is the way I always remembered to find the floating continent. Son, I want to show this fucking thing to Sid. I'm like, check out this awesome airship. It lands on the land. It goes 9,000 fucking miles an hour. He's like, well, that's nice, but where's the boat airship I like helped build for you? I'm like, oh, that. Well, it's a funny story, really, see. It got blowed the fuck up. He's like, can you all touch an airship? I know you equate yourself to Joseph Joestar by valiantly running from battle, but do you have to crash every air vehicle you get in? Uh, he just wanted to tell us how cool he is. I won't even bother your wife. I assume she's currently in a healing coma. Okay, the main reason we came back here was to restock our regular potions. So how many do we have? 33, so we need 66. Neat. So we'll buy 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 4, 65, 66. And there you go. We got just a little bit of spending money. I don't even need to sleep at the end. Oh, I guess I do. I don't remember getting the shit beat out of me, but apparently it's a thing that happened. One by step I took. Uh, they won't live long enough <laughs> for me to jump attack them, so I guess we'll just melee. The most shameful thing a dragoon can do, just a standard melee attack. Don't let the cute dragoon lady see it. When you're depicting your fan art of being the dragoon, hanging out with the cool dragoon ladies, uh, make sure or feel free to use the little Ben Curacento character depicted as a drag game. Just saying. I have a very successful track record of begging for Final Fantasy Dragon related fan art when I'm playing my Final Fantasy playthroughs. I'm sure this time it'll work. Oh yeah, that's the Ancient Force. We still can't enter it, <laughs> even with this advanced airship. Hmm. Once again, a strange silhouette of a serpent swimming in a pond. Neat. Neat, he said twice for some reason. 
All right, if we go to the right of the floating continent, yeah, this is where if we had tried to fly up in there with the previous airship, we would have just gotten blown back over and over. But with this one, we can fight the wind. Now, unfortunately, they did something in Final Fantasy III that I'm glad they didn't make a staple with future games. And that's there are areas where you can get in air battles in your airship. So being in an airship doesn't mean you've always got free travel. Luckily, these things are just terrible. And nobody cares about them. They cast dangerous ice magic on occasion, though. <laughs> 696, baby! Oh, look who was in the sky when you tried to ice to him! Jackass! Oops, I accidentally told everybody else to not attack. <laughs> I almost got Tommy killed, but it was worth it. So that the Dragoon Hero could save the day. It was small damage, but it didn't matter. He had a lot of heart. Luckily, there's not too much area to traverse. Well, hey there, Harpy Lady. Just stealing for fun. Yeah, enjoy your wind spears. Now, most flying enemies are weak to wind. That's why the arrow spell was so good against them. So, luckily, any flying enemies we can carry with our dragoon dual wielding wind spears means he gets to do big dragoon damage. My favorite kind. Cut to the alternate universe where Phil Swift, spokesman for Flex Seal and Flex Tape, was a dragoon. And when he went to do that uh, bucket challenge, instead of stabbing it with a knife, he sets the bucket down and then does a jump attack with a spear. Hey guys, tell you what, this seems like the kind of fight that might last more than one turn. All things considered. We might be approaching a point where Tommy needs to start wearing a shield. He's getting slapped around a lot these days. You defend, you fight, and you steal. It's a good plan. I support it. Nothing. Boom. Damn it, we're so close <laughs> to our destination. Tommy's sucking some HP out of them bird titties, getting his health back. For some reason, I think of the Rito Down Inn from Breath of the Wild and a certain Elf Boy Hero <laughs> that's a frequent patron. Okay, we're here, finally. So Dorga's Mansion. Let's step inside and see what happens. Excuse me, Dorga's house. Awful big for a house, I'm just saying. Oh no, we're being set upon. Well, hey there, little fellers. And you are? Okay, well, you know where the Warriors of Light. I don't know why you had to send your strange little furry white bear creatures <laughs> with red bat wings and pom poms dangling off the top of their head. I don't even know what you'd call a monster like that. I've only played Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Because I'm 10 fade. I've never seen a Moogle before. Okay, so he's Dorga. Remember, the Sage Noah passed on his power to his three disciples. Zand, the asshole we've been dealing with the repercussions of. And then there was one named Dorga and one named Unai or Unai. So I guess this is one of them. Neat. 
the Archmage Noah. I like how they all have all these weird made-up names, but <laughs> Sakaguchi named the main guy Noah. I guess uh, a gaijin name like that might sound exotic. It's like naming your character Tina, son. You might have to change that to uh, Terra to make it sound <laughs> better in the English version. So, the gifts he bestowed upon his disciples was he gave Dorga his magic power. He gave Un the dream power over the dream world, and then he made Zan a mortal human. And apparently, Zan wasn't very happy with that. Son, I don't know what he's complaining about. The being mortal is like the best blessing you can ask for. Who the hell wants to live forever? So that's why he threw a big shit fit and caused the earthquake that has set off the events of the game. But Goldor broke the earth crystal. He's like, what? No. So Dorga here gave Goldor a fake crystal that made gold. I guess just to get him to stop bothering it. So the earth crystal still exists somewhere. Well, that's good to know. Dorga joined the party. Neat. So basically, yeah, Zand is a huge shitheel because he's mad that apparently his birthday present wasn't as cool <laughs> as uh, Dorga and Oons was. Okay. So yeah, Dorga's uh, minions here that serve him in the mansion are these little fancy creatures called Moogles. You may have heard of them. If you've heard of Final Fantasy, you might have heard Tale of Moogles. Well, this is where they come from, so that's neat. Oh, y'all are saying a lot of words that don't start with a Q and rhyme with Lupo, I'm just saying. All right, they sell good magic here. The next tier of magic, uh, including the, the life spell. Jesus. Unfortunately, we need loads of money to start buying that, so we're probably going to have to do a little bit of money grind. I hate to be the one to tell you kids this. I'm suffering from illness. I do not. Oh, that's convenient. So you're immortal, <laughs> but you're too fucking weak to do anything with it. How convenient. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. We have another gimmick dungeon. You might have remembered a little while back, I said there was going to be another dungeon where we have to be many. Well, this is that dungeon. So unfortunately, none of our current characters can do anything in many forms. So everyone's going to have to become a caster again <laughs> for this one dungeon. So, <sighs> damn you, you fucking moogle, making me not be able to. Okay, he, he got past the threshold. Luckily, this candle smells like chocobos, which means if we give it a quote-unquote gishel green, we'll be presented with the fat chocobo. Guess what? You get to hang out here with the fat chocobo. The, hey guys, I'm an NPC in a Final Fantasy town. Guess I'll just stand in this one spot and do this for six fucking hours. <laughs> How do you like it, Koopo? All right, anyway... Alright, we just became dragoons and once again ass all naked. Sorry, I said the words ass all naked dragoon and my mind started wondering. Is everyone Tommy didn't want to take his hat off? God bless him. Alright, give. Boom, 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 boom. So how do we want to go about this? So we have options. Not everybody has to be a black mage this time. In fact, how much capacity do we have? Damn, if we wanted him to become a Geomancer, it's a lot. How much to be a black wizard? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's decide who's going to do what based on the 117 capacity that we have. Geomancers don't cast black magic, but their elemental ability, terrain, it's based on the terrain you're standing on, does certain effects, and they can do that while many. And it has, you know, unlimited uses, although it can backfire and damage you because Sakaguchi can't let you have nothing for too long. 
could turn Jeremy back into a white mage. Although with the power of healing these days, it might not be necessary. I wanted to make him a conjurer, but once again, we might have to go out and farm uh, capacity before we can uh, start turning everybody to a caster. Yeah, Conjurer, Geomancer, and then Black Mage would be the three best choices. Who could turn into a Geomancer for the cheapest? It's 48 for him, it's 40 for you. It's only 16 for Jeremy, I think we might have found him. Although I wanted to make Ben the Geomancer because he looks like a Black Mage. He's another one of them Black Mage variants, and it would have kept the theme going. Well, we could make them both. Why not both? Boom. All right, so you're a Geomancer. You're a Geomancer. That leaves us 53 Skidoo. Let's see, we would need 22 to make you a Black Mage. 36 for a Conjurer. We would need 30 or 44, God. If I were to turn you back into a Monk, because it's free. Would it be cheaper? Okay, yeah, definitely. Definitely cheaper. So that's 28 to make him the conjurer. So if I had to turn you back into a fighter, what are we looking at? Uh, 28. Okay. Okay. And let's make Tommy. So we got conjurer Tommy. Look at him, he's real proud of himself. And yeah, you can be the Black Mage. Look at that! We somehow did it. So if we take your mostly black magic and swap it with Chris, that'll be good. And then Tommy... Okay, he's got plenty of free space. We can throw our summon spells that we bought onto. And that's that. You love to see it. Now we just need a bunch of gear out of this fucking fat joke, but So I will take what can this crowd equip? Weapons don't matter. Other yeah, the weapons don't matter at all for this crowd. Although the I thought maybe the conjurer could use these white mage staffs to get additional casting ability, but no, that would be too cool. So we'll take you and you, just for fun. Bells are interesting. They're a two-handed weapon, and they can be used from the back row. I believe uh, harps can as well, but we have no bard. I have no use for a bard. Okay, we've got a scholar hat for you. Feather hat. I guess everyone else has to wear leather hats. As far as armor goes. You can wear that. Both of you can wear that. Okay, he can wear the wizard's robe. Oh, this is why we bought four room bracelets, by the way. And we'll take those casting items with us. I, this cure too is just aggravating. Let's just take it and sell it. So I ain't got to look at it anymore. The sight of it offends me. So you get the Giamon. Sounds like the name of one of them Digimans. Although I'm not entirely familiar with them. Five agility. That's a good thing. Gaia, the spirit of this shirt to no longer stand the terrible destruction plaguing your bare chest. Uh, you don't need a weapon. Scholar hat. Scholar robe. And a rune armlet. Cool, cool. You don't need a weapon either, but you could wear this leather hat. And you could wear this wizard shirt. And you could wear this rune armlet. And then Jeremy, the Geomancer, gets to put on this stuff.
We're going to want to buy one copy of every spell. This, uh, the Cupo man, <laughs> the Moogle. I literally couldn't say Moogle for a second. And my brain in its panic decided the correct course of action was to call them Cupo mans. It's a funny thing. You say, very funny thing. No, loses meaning. We might as well bring these caster items with us, because we could use them in here for fun if we wanted to, I guess. God, gee whiz. If I criticize everything I do, why don't you? Doug's like, wait. I'm immortal, but my hip still acts up. Okay, luckily we can come in here and just get full HP and MP. Boom. Yeah, I guess we could see everyone's overworld sprite. So this is the Geomancer. He's just a little scrappy feller with his little dangle ball hat. And of course, you know what a Black Mage looks like. We'll just stick with the Black Mage. The classics. Please take me to the Magic Circle Cave. I'm old and feeble. I'm like, how are you fucking old and feeble? You're immortal. <laughs> I don't think uh, Noah gave Zand mortality. I think he ran out of gifts and just made some shit up. Alright, we've saved our game. We could do a practice fight out here. Why not? Oh, I should have put everyone in the back row. I'm a fool. Not only did I not put everyone in the back row, but of course, we got fucking ambushed. Because I'm Final Fantasy 3, and I never have your characters get back attacked and ambushed. God, your spell menu is a fucking mess, dude. Also, he doesn't have any spell charges past Ifrit, I just realized. What a shame. Earthquake. Earthquake. Well, there you go. <laughs> Geomancer, secret best job in the game. We could fight a couple of fights, get a little bit of spell money. We do want to give... Chris, the the black mage spells that are available in that shop. So, unless we want to turn somebody into a white mage and go through all that trouble of using the sight spell to get us money, of course we've got. Oh, I thought we had eighty three thousand gil. We have eighty three hundred gil. Never mind. I'm quite the fool indeed. Alright, let's fight enough fights just to at least get him fire three. I'm assuming he has spell charges at that level. Yeah, he could go all the way up to rank six if he wanted to. Okay. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any rank five spell charges. Did I mention recently that conjurers are not a really that good a job? I think they put them in the game as a joke just to make the summoner seem that much cooler later. Harpy, huh? I see. I see. Interesting. Interesting. We ain't never gonna get to see a summon spell. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> there you go. Flames of Fury. Neat. <laughs> what a fun battle. If they put the damn HP MP restoration urn right in the entrance to Dorga's house, I'd go in there between fights. But you got to run down like two halls. You got to make small talk with the Moogles, most of which consists of the word Koopa. I realize not one Moogle in this game has said the word Koopo yet. You'd have to be one of them Final Fantasy fans to understand that reference preemptively, aka a huge nerd. I hope to God no huge nerds are watching me play a translated ROM of Final Fantasy 3 for the NES slash Famicom. I'd never live it down.
Uh, the woods terrain ability doesn't seem to be quite as good as the earthquake. I'm noticing. Mind Blast. Oh, so that's one of Rama's random effects he can get, is he, <laughs> I guess, paralyzes the foes with a Mind Blast. Apparently they're not uh, really shook up about having Ice Cast on them, so we're going to have to switch to Bolt. Yep, that's damage. <laughs> that's impressive damage, boys. Ifrit's looking a little pale these days. Oh, he used uh, his other ability where we all recover HP. That's neat. Why did I want Tommy to be a conjurer again? Was there some sort of advantage to that? I'm, I'm not quite recalling these days. This is a serious situation we've wandered into. I'm just noticing. Hang on, summon Chocobo, maybe it'll get us the hell out of here. Stumble. Nice. So I guess I was wrong. He doesn't Choco Kick. He <laughs> either... Runs, makes your party run away, or he just trips. This is a terrible fucking job class. Who the fuck did they put this in the game as a joke? I'm guessing. And then Chris died for fun. Get us the hell out of here, son. I'm a flabbergast. Not since the Heine incident. <laughs> Has a battle gone so wrong? Once again, this is the price I pay for trying to entertain y'all by using the Conjurer class. Even the ancient text is like, why would you ever, ever use this shitty, awful class? Yeah, I think the good times are over. We've, we've whittled them down to one fucking target, boys, but everybody's dead. The uh, Geomancer does a lot better in the next dungeon we're going into, at least. So, they don't even have the run command. <laughs> so we're just got to see this fight through to the end, boys. I could throw one of my spellcasting items at him just to have this fucking nightmare end. That's a good plan. That's a neat trick. I was going to say, I don't have any Zeus's Rages, do I? Well, never mind. I can't do that either. <laughs> Nothing good can come from this fight. That's the moral of the story. Your crowd couldn't get like more than one hit. I'm pretty sure bales are a back row uh, enabled weapon. I guess they've just got such low strength from being little scrappy geomancers that they just can't get nothing done. The geomancers in Final Fantasy Tactics could like use swords, I believe. Just saying. What am I fucking doing? Speed this shit up. I don't care if the party gets wiped. There we go. <laughs> ben did all the work and got all the experience. Neat. Whew, I got to rethink some things <laughs> with this party composition. My God. Of course, we were doing all right until we got into a fight in the woods and our terrain ability went from earthquake to like wind slash which those enemies absorbed okay okay everything's cool everybody relax you're blocking me from the fucking store man okay I want a fire three which we are going to equip on Chris Damn. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, Solania. Once we uh, stopped that whole shit with the king and Garuda, all the stores opened back up. I forgot to go in there and get magic. Oh, well. 
<laughs> we'll be all right. You're like, will you be Uncle Tepe? <laughs> Did you not just witness what I just witnessed? I keep telling y'all, it's not going to be like that in the next dungeon, son. It's going to be easy as cake, boys. Like a slice of the pie. So let's get to it. Oh, first we have to touch this candle. Drink this for fun. I'm just trying to run. <laughs> He's world rat. Alright. Lucky mallets. Here they are. Boom. Boom. I decided to just leave Tommy as a conjurer. I'm, I'm too deep in. I'm too sunk cost at this point. Like I said, I don't suspect it's going to be too terrible getting through here. Let me glance at the ancient text real quick and make sure. Yeah, it's only three screens long. We'll be all right. Come on, little Durga. Keep up with us. Mage flyer. Oh, ambush. I noticed in my uh, physical copy playthrough that I mentioned in a previous recording session with my flash cartridge that you tend to get into a shitload of, like, ambushed and back attacks in this game. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, a lot of the enemies in here are weak to wind, and the terrain ability is like air blade, so... As long as we don't get uh, feedback should be okay. Oh, is this gonna... If she does ice damage, is it gonna heal you? No, it didn't. Icy glare! Terrain. I just want to fight. And there you go. Magic circle is connected to another dimension. The Eureka key. Did he mention that earlier? <laughs> Have I not been paying attention to the plot? Potions make the best white mage. <laughs> Sometimes. When you're out of battle. The dark night. Oh no, backfired. Everything went tits up. Or did it? Son, he paralyzed the whole enemy team. Now let's see if Rama does this. No, he actually did lightning damage. So when the conjurer gets the effect that does elemental damage based on the summon, it's only single target as well. Just another reason that conjurers will never <laughs> be as good as proper summoners. Well, you just can't catch a break, can you, buddy? Little punches. Oh, he actually managed to land a terrain attack. Alright, that's actually secretly what I wanted, was if it's half-ass heals.
And there you are. So basically, we're going down here so that he can get us a key to some place called Eureka, the Forbidden Land. He's going to get us a DVD set, <laughs> a box set of Eureka's Castle. It's been banned for some reason. And apparently, that's where all the best shit is. And apparently, we need the good shit to stop Zand. Alright, ancient text. What do you got to say about this here for? Just go right. Just go anti-clockwise. Says the ancient text. Oh my god. Why do horses always back attack you? You'd think it'd be hard for them to sneak up on you. With their cloppy hooves. Alright, hit them all with fire three. And you... See what you can do. And then terrain. Alright. And, of course, it backfired, because why wouldn't it? Only when it's in the most dire situations should it backfire. Not bad AoE, all things considered. Dead. And Rama did a lightning damage. Still gaining skills, still paying the bills. Well, Jeremy got a back blast for a change. God's thunder. it's a like one in four chance that your uh, terrain command backfires so we'll see if that holds up or if I'm justified for being petulant and angry at how often it happens uh, we might as well try our luck and see if we can't get some half-assed if for eels thrown on us I think this might be the last of the mandatory mini dungeons. Ambushed by horses! That should be the subtitle of Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> Final Fantasy 3 Horse Ambush. Right, here's how we're going to handle this one. You're going to fire three, everyone. I'm going to use... Da -da -da -da. Ah, Earth Drum. Hit them all with Quake. I like that the devil horse has joker colors. Mm -hmm. 
neat. <laughs> Spellcasting items can be useful if you remember you have them. Alright, this is the final floor. Thank God. Uh-huh. What are the odds? What are the odds? Indeed. Buy the book, horse ambush strategy. We don't have far to go, but I don't trust this damn dungeon, so <laughs> get everybody's HP up to at least 600. We're so close. I didn't know if maybe he had something different to say. Damn, literally the last step. And of course it's a back attack. My god. At least in Final Fantasy 2, they had the excuse that it used Furion's agility to determine how often you got ambush and back attack. But in this game, it's just Sakaguchi being hateful. Sakaguchi be hating. It's the second subtitle <laughs> for Final Fantasy 3. Alright, let's see what you can throw at them this time. Bomb arms. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Not only do we get ambushed, but the enemy just happens to all target Tommy, who was going to use an AoE Amon item. And they also just happen to have Jeremy get back blasted. Not that I'm bitter or anything, heaven fucking forbid, as always. See if we can survive this fucking final fight of the dungeon. Oh, Sakaguchi, give me the strength. <laughs> to survive this encounter. Alright, this is it. The moment of truth. <laughs> right down to the wire, boys. A nail biter. Ben's gonna be like a, a whole solid level <laughs> past the rest of the party after these two times when he was the last known survivor. Alright, do we still have to be many in here since we're about to do a plot thing? Sakaguchi, could I be allowed? Where? I was about to say, where are my fucking luck mallets? Yeah, we can't. You don't have much longer to live. Once again, uh, what the hell does immortal mean <laughs> to you people? First, I'll enchant your ship Nogla so they could go under the sea. Zehapid Mu Kane, as the words go. <laughs> so, he just made our airship basically also a submarine, but I like how unlike every other part of the game, it wasn't like an engineer ran off screen and then you heard hammer and wrench noises. He just cast a magic spell. Apparently you can just enchant your vehicles to go underwater. Go south of Solania, the Temple of Tyne on the bottom of the sea at the two-pronged cape. Noah's loot should be there. Is it Noah's fat loot? Okay, so we need that to wake Oon up who's the other of Noah's disciples, so that she can help us kick Xand in the dick. He's like, only Oon knows the secret 
of the best spot to kick Zand in the dick. And just like that, the nightmare ended. Although I like, instead of just casting Exit, he cast Warp, because Warp takes you back to the previous floor. So he just cast that enough times that it put us outside. He warped us outside, how about that? All right, well, thank God that fucking gimmicky shit is over. What a fucking mess <laughs> the whole thing was. But sometimes the messiest Final Fantasy gameplay makes for the most entertaining. All I know is, I've reached that point in the recorded session where my ass is numb, and I'm dehydrated, and ornery, and cranky. So, I think this might be a good spot to end. I'm not going to end <laughs> so shamefully. So, even if I don't have the gear for it, and even if all my friends are dead, <laughs> I want to end this recorded session as a proud dragon. Ultimate dragon warrior, as they say.